So we've all heard the term inflation, right? But what does that actually mean? The price of goods and services isn't constant. Prices change all the time. When prices go up, that's inflation. It takes more money to buy the same goods and services. This in turn means that purchasing power goes down. To measure inflation, economists look at something called the Consumer Price Index, or CPI for short. The CPI measures price changes over time, and economists look at these changes to figure out the rate of inflation, often represented as a percentage. If inflation is mild and consistent, it encourages consumers to buy goods and services now versus later, when they'll have to pay more. This in turn leads to an increase in demand, companies have to increase production, which means they have to hire more workers, and economic growth is boosted. The bad side of inflation is, of course, the stuff costs more. Some people may not be able to afford childcare, groceries, or housing if their wages don't match the inflation prices. So now we know what inflation is, but what really causes inflation? Check out part two to find out.